In the previous video, we have implemented a way to visualize our grid. Now it's time to implement a candidate map class that will place obstacles on our map. So let's stop the game if you have it running. And now what we need to do is go to scripts folder and let's create a new C sharp script called candidate map. Okay, let's open it up in our code editor. Okay, great. Again, I need to add mine to our, uh, my chess maze namespace. And this will not be a mono behavior class. So let's delete the mono behavior inheritance and all the methods from our class. Now, as I said before, this class will be responsible for placing the obstacles on our map and later uh, for calcul calculating the path on our map and fixing our map when there is no way to create a path between our two points. So here what we need to have is a reference to our grid, so public map grid grid. It will be passed from our map generator for now. What else do we need? Well, as I said before, we will need to have uh, some number of chess pieces of type knight uh, that will be placed on our map. So let's create private int number of pieces equals zero. Next, we will need to store uh, all the obstacles. And as I have mentioned previously, I will store it inside candidate map as an 1D array of bool values. So it will be true or false. Since later, when we go to genetic algorithm and the optimization part, we will use this bool uh, array to mix genes so mix the values from two different maps into one map and it will be much easier to do on 1d array instead of on a 2d array so let's create private bool and this will be obstacles array so bool is the array of boolean values and let's set it to be null for now Next, we will store all the positions of our knights. Next, what we can do is expose our grid. So left click and again encapsulate and set as property. And we do not want to set it, we only want to get it. And the same thing with our obstacles array. Oh, I have misspelled it. Okay. And again, left click and encapsulate this field and I don't want to set it, I want only want to get it. Great. Now what we need to do is create a constructor. So let's use the snippet CTOR. And here what we will need to have is our map grid. So we will take our map grid in inside the constructor and int number of pieces. Uh, and this will be refer to the number of uh, our night pieces that we will want to place later in later stages on this tutorial number of pieces equals number of pieces and this grid equals grid great now before we go into implementing the placement of our night pieces we need one helper method here which will be private bool check if position can be obstacle position and this method will return false only if we want to place an obstacle where there already is placed start or end point. So if our position equals start point, and we do not have this, so let's uh, slide up and let's create private vector3 start point and end point. Okay, and uh, sorry, exit point, and we will check if position equals start point, point or is if position equals exit point, then return false. If not, we will calculate the index of our position using our grid calculate index from coordinates. We will pass the position x and position z. And as I have previously mentioned, 
You could have created this method to take vector 3 instead. I did it this way. And let's return the obstacles array. So we will check if there already is an obstacle in this position. If there is, there is no point in placing anything else here. So if index or in our obstacle array is equals to false. Great. Okay. So having in mind that we do not have start or exit position anywhere and it isn't passed to our method, now we will focus on creating our night piece class and that is coming up in the next video.